Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to show you how to set up aux sends or parallel processing in Reaper. Parallel processing is a way to add effects to a dedicated track for the purpose of routing other audio to this track and blending the affected signal with the dry signal. This differs from adding inline effects on a track and somewhat mimics the behavior of routing audio through outboard gear. To start, we'll need to track some audio. Let's take a look. I used Audio Assault's Reamp Studio for the guitar tones. This amp sim has plenty of effects built in, including reverb and delay, but I'd like to add my own on a separate track in case I'd like to route other things to that same track. To start, I'll close Reamp Studio and add a new track. I'll call this track Effects Reverb, and I'll select one of my favorite reverb plugins to add to it. I'll use Convology XT. Since I want to use this as an aux send, I'd like to make sure that the plugin is set to be 100% wet and that none of the dry signal comes through this same channel. If I play back now, you'll notice that there is no reverb yet. And we can see that there's no signal being routed through this track. I'll need to route my guitar through this track to hear the reverb. We can do this by left-clicking and dragging the route button from the guitar track over to the reverb track. You'll notice that the cursor becomes a jack as I drag this over. I'll drop it onto the reverb track and we can now see that track 15 is routed into track 16 for reverb. If I play back now, we will hear the reverb. That may sound nice to you, but to me that is way too much reverb. We can change this a couple of different ways. We can turn the reverb track down and blend that into taste. My preferred method is to leave the aux track at unity and instead change how much we're sending to that. If I click the routing button on the sending track, this will show all tracks that I'm currently sending to, and as you can see, we have a slider to adjust how much we're sending. I can also click the routing button on the receiving track, and if we were receiving from more than one track, we would see each of those receives here, and can adjust how much is being sent for each track. Let's turn down the send on the scratch guitar track until it sounds good. That sounds good to me. I like that a lot better than the built-in reverb on the guitar amp sim, and I also had the benefit of being able to route more than one thing to this reverb track, which saves on processing power. In other DAWs, there are several different types of tracks. Mono tracks, stereo tracks, MIDI tracks, and dedicated aux sin tracks. Some DAWs even have limits on how many aux tracks you can have, but in Reaper, you're only limited by your hardware. I can add as many additional tracks as I want and create aux sins for them just by routing other tracks into them. Let's create one more aux send to add a delay to our guitar. We'll add another track, call it Effects, Delay, and let's add Rhea Delay. Just like with our reverb, we want to make sure that this is a 100% wet signal, so turn down the dry slider, and we'll give it about 200 milliseconds of delay time. If we click the route button on our guitar, we can see that we're sending to the reverb, but we can also add a new send and send that to our Effects Delay track. Now we can control how much we're sending to each track. Let's see what it sounds like now. Now that delay is a bit much, so let's turn down our send to the delay and try again. And maybe add a touch more reverb now. And that sounds pretty nice. I hope this helps. We'll explore more parallel processing options in later episodes. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee.